thanks so much for coming back to Jake Space Reacts. Uh, continuing my reaction series to Eurovision 2019, uh, we're in semifinal two, and I'm going in the actual running order. Um, and we've made it to the eighth country that will perform in semifinal two, which is one of my favorites, Sweden. Um, it looks like you're sending John Lundvik, and the song is Too Late for Love. Hmm. Um, a lot of you guys, like, wanted me to react. I, I think it's called Melody F Festivalen. It's like your national final. Um, and I can't even remember if I did because getting clearance on it here was almost impossible. But um, I, I always love what Sweden sings. You know that um, I've always told you guys um, the best pop music in the entire world originates from or starts in Sweden before it eventually, you know, will make it over here to artists um, in the United States or um, all around the world. So their songwriting is so special. I don't know if he wrote it. I'm assuming that he probably did because his name's listed there as a writer. So yeah, he wrote it. Um, but let's go Sweden. I'm so excited. Hey, how you been? Was he in it last year? I wanna do you everything for me. Say, oh. am I wrong? So wonder if it could be you and me. Is it too late for love? Mm. Is it too late for love? Is it too late for love? I can take no more. Is it? I could be the sun that lights your dark. Maybe I will let your world with just one spark. I could make it burn for you and me. If I could be there. I will be there. Hear me. I can be the sun your dark. Is it too late for love? Is it too late for love? Hear me. I can make it burn for you. Yeah. Came and went, but nothing ever this is so good. Felt the same. But you left a space. For everything reminds me of your face Is it too late for love? No mm -hmm. Is it too late for love? Still don't I wanna know I could be the sun that lights your dark One spark I could make it burn for you and me If I could be there I would be there Goosebumps, goosebumps. Oh, so good. Okay, Sweden, that's my favorite so far. That's my favorite, like, out of any countries that I've reacted to so far. First of all, I love, I, I think he's competed before because of, not in Eurovision, but in Melody Festival, and he looks familiar. Um, His reaction there at the very end, that's what this is, like, all about. Like, you, he was about to cry because he was so um excited and like overwhelmed by the fact that he'd been chosen to represent his country at Eurovision and that's what this is all about let's talk about I mean I don't have to start with the positives because there are no negatives so that should be pretty easy um his vocals amazing the control that he had over his vocals um otherworldly um that part where sort of all the music got stripped back and he went back into sort of his falsetto after he had just been singing full voice like that is 
hard to do, and he made it look like you know, anybody can do that. Um, the way that, of course, the way the song was written, I I love the lyrics. I love the way it was, the song was constructed. It was absolutely a masterpiece, and I, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say that was, I'm gonna I'm kind of worried now actually to go back and see what I was doing because I was really into like every time that chorus came out I was here for that so um and you know how much I love like if somebody can bring like soul and sort of uh you know R&B type of vibes and vocals and gospel vibes to Eurovision like that gets me super excited over here in the south that's something that you know we that I that I grew up on so I I feel a connection to it and you know I also have to give props to backing vocalists because they have a really difficult job Th those four like he needs to keep them don't do anything with them you need to bring them to your vision with you because they're your secret weapons like how they just exploded into those choruses with him and the harmonies they were singing and how they all uh how there was chemistry between all of them that's what I I thought was the neatest is that I admire an artist who first of all will bring his backing vocalist or her backing vocalist whatever they, you know on stage with them instead of hiding them off to the side somewhere like they're a secret um but I loved even more that he he not only brought them on the stage they were a part of that performance they were like a huge part of it um Sweden like a uh, I know my opinion, you know, probably doesn't even matter uh, in the long run, but that's my favorite that I've heard so far uh, out of any of the songs, semifinal one, or that we've heard so far in semifinal two. So um, I'm, yeah, I'm excited for you. Uh, you're going to qualify. I, I mean, you, uh, f for me, I, I know it's early to say right now, but I mean, you're probably in first for me uh, overall out of everyone uh, that's how good that was so thank you Sweden I, I, I needed that and I appreciate um, that and I appreciate the quality that you send to Eurovision every single year um, it's it's especially that song was yeah so beautiful so thank you um, and yeah I wish you the best of luck obviously Sweden um, and John um, and uh, I will see you guys back for the next reaction video. Peace